Good morning, guys. Sun is coming up. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Walking over to uh, David's trailer. We're gonna be going to uh, the Pancake House, which is a pancake breakfast place, if you hadn't guessed by the name of it. Those people are still sleeping. It's kind of quiet. There's a brisk chill and a really nice smell of nature this morning. But I love the way this sun plays off the trailers. That's pretty cool. Time to scoot around look for some cool trailers because I'm on my cool scooter. Doggy is shaking. Yeah, she's cold. <laughs> she's, uh, she's our she's our newest addition. Cute. <clears throat> she's What's her name? four months old. Her name is Penny. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, this is Robbie, and uh, you have a one of these uh, incredible trailers here at the show today. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty. For four days. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We okay. like we like doing this. This is a good thing. What's the attraction? Um, just all our best friends come here. Yeah. And that's how we uh, we congregate and. <laughs> play and drink and party and have a great time. <laughs> uh, it's early and people are still acting like wackadoos, no matter what, you know? Yeah, it's it's the, the children in us. Yes. You know? um, we're vicariously living our lives through our childhood and uh, that's why you see all these really wonderful old trailers. And we have a 57 Shasta, mm -hmm. it's a Model 14. We picked it up a couple years ago. We had a teardrop, we had a 40, I think it was a 47 teardrop. We decided it was just a little too small for us, so <laughs> hence we got this. You know, I think the best thing of all is just having the animals together and Mama, my wife, and we just hang out and we can just enjoy being all together yeah. in one little cocoon. This is Ron. What's up, buddy? You having a good Just time? camping. You bet, man. <laughs> it's morning time. People are starting to wake up and starting to uh, to feel the effects of a good night's sleep for once. Yes. As opposed to uh, city life or wherever you're from. So sleep like a baby in the trailer. Yeah. Where'd you drive from? Camarillo, California. Okay. So not too far. Not too far. I'm um, getting together with old friends. These people here are, are from my hometown, Fresno, mm -hmm. and we met up on the, uh, a camping trip about three years ago. And so uh, we've been camping ever since. Oh, it's fantastic. You, and you have a, a, not only an unusual trailer, but you have kind of a cool car right there that, yeah, uh, that's that you a pulled it. 62 Sedandyville with uh, now 38,000 original miles from new. And you just came to Wheels and Waves and you had a Jensen. That's right, 73 yeah. in Interceptor. We had a good time going to the Murphy. Right? We did, yeah, yeah. We went through three trailers before we found the right one. Mm -hmm. The first one was a 57 Westerner. It was about a 12 footer, too small, no bath. 
Our second one was yeah, 67. Yeah, you don't need that. 67 uh, Kincraft, uh -huh. a little too new for me. Yeah. Um, had the you know the whitewash finished cabinets. I like the the rich birch yeah. stuff. So we bought this a trailer from Scott Berude. He camped next to us at El Capitan a couple years ago, and we, I stuck my head inside and I said, if you ever want to sell this thing, I'm at the top of your list. And we kept bugging. It took us a year to convince him to sell it, and we we've had it for about a little over a year now, and we just love it. This is Todd, another amazing trailer goer. Uh, you know, all these things are so unique. Um, unique to the to the person, unique to the size and the the, the styles. You know, uh, what attracted you to this particular kind of trailer? I've uh, had some real heavy trailers in the past. I just wanted something that was kind of nice and easy to store and easy to move around. Yeah, and what is the this model? This is a 1954 King trailer. Best story is probably the way I found it. I was just talking to a guy about his trailer and. Uh, it just came up that he had this that he had bought out of a kind of a barn find mm -hmm. and uh, I had my friends go take a look at it because they lived down uh, in Camarillo and it was in Santa Paula so they took 86 pictures of it and I liked it and went down and bought it. series of questions. Okay. Uh, best color for a trailer? Tan and green. How many trailer brands can you name in 10 seconds? Go. All right. Winnebago, uh, Shasta, uh, Airstream. That's it. <laughs> I drove all the way to Wisconsin to pick it up. Drove it back from Wisconsin. Took a year to build it and I've been having a lot of fun since I built it. And I got my 30 seconds over here. <laughs> That's okay. good enough man. 50 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> color for a trailer? That one. Which which one? This one? This one. Okay. Red truck. <laughs> uh, if you had your own trailer, what would you get? That one. That one again? Yes. Okay. I love it. If you had your own scooter, what would you get? Scooter? Well, it runs. Uh, the Cushman. The Cushman. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> best muscle car? Or. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there are many reasons why doing this kind of thing is so cool. These guys are very excited, and it certainly brings people together, and it certainly proves the point that like minds kind of hang out with like minds. But we're all striving to pull some joy and fun and good things into our life, not necessarily knowing how to do that, or thinking that you have to go through a lot to be able to achieve that. But that's not something that exists in the past. It's certainly not something that exists in the future. It's something that only exists in the present. And the present is where you find true joy, and that's what it is that's that that's feeding off of this event here. Certainly, you can have anticipation or intention to, to create some fun things with the day, and that kind of lays out your path. A wise author once said that if you can just close your eyes and visualize the direction that you're going, you basically lay down a path. It can be a path of rocks and rubble, or it can be a red carpet. It's your choice. For this weekend, these people here at this event, they're laying down a red carpet. And, but they're not only laying down the red carpet for themselves, they're laying it down for the rest of them. It's an event for each other. You set up your camper, you set up your space, in hopes that people will come by, have a smile, and enjoy themselves. And I, for one, am really grateful to be a part of it and to be able to show you guys. time for a swim. <laughs>